Hi, today we're going to cover how easy it is to set up a new flow map. A uh, flow map is just simply a visual representation of your restaurant, so where you can see all your tables, indoor, outdoor, all in one view. So adding a new flow map is really simple. After you've onboarded, all you can need to do is click on new flow map, and here you can choose to start. Now, immediately you get a choice. Would you like to see one floor map with all your dining areas in it? Or if you prefer, you can have a separate floor map for each dining area. What do I mean? So it's like, I want indoor on one map, outdoor on another. Let's choose this for the time being. I'm going to choose, uh, give a name to my floor map. In this case, I want to choose, I want to call it weekdays. And here I get immediately a view of all the tables I had set up originally during my onboarding process. But let's say my restaurant isn't one long line, so I can easily move the tables around, clicking on the cursor here, and I can arrange them according to what my restaurant actually looks like. But there are lots of other elements I can add. Let's say I have a, a wall dividing here, perhaps you have toilets or something of the sort. And I can play about easily this way. We can also add elements like a tree. And actually my tree is much bigger, so I'm going to increase it. If you want to see a full view of it, all you have to do is click on this icon here. You can also choose to reduce. You can shift it around. You can also undo, or in this case, that tree was actually a bit too big. And what if I want to add a new table? Maybe I had, I had forgotten one behind. So here, table types, I can choose between rectangular or circular. In this case, let's put a circular one. I'm going to name it B12. Uh, minimum covers, I can give it three, or four, whatever. And maximum covers, let's say it's six. And create it. And there you have it. We've got our circular table with six available chairs. But other fun things to add. So, for example, um, Look at our dining areas up here. These are the ones that I would have originally chosen when setting up Tableau. But I can add more. For example, I have a cave. Oh, look, a wine cave. I can just simply update it. And there I will have a new wine cave. If I look at service hours, over here I can see all the service hours that this uh, floor plan is applicable to but i have chosen to have it as my weekday floor plan so in this case i'm going to remove the weekend save and there we have it let's say for example table two i don't want it here not on this floor plan all i have to do is click on it and delete yes i am sure and now i'm going to find it in my excluded tables what does this mean means that I don't see it on my floor plan, but it is still in the system, it's still in table management, and whenever I want to recall it, all I have to do is drag and drop it. Very important when you make changes and updates to your floor map, just as you have your message here, make sure to save. And there we have it saved. So this is it. This was step one. It's just showing you how to create a floor map. In our next video, we will show you how to update and edit the floor map and also how to put it in good use and how to see it in live mode when you are actually in service. Thank you.